what about organizing our video files? Um, you know, this is turning into a digital decluttering course, which I have a separate course on that. But I, I'm just going to mention this one because this was asked right here from one of the live participants. Um, I don't organize. I don't keep video files. I let YouTube keep my video files. I let Facebook keep my video files. What if your Facebook and YouTube account gets shut down? I mean, I, I'm, I'm, that is possible. It's true. Um, Facebook especially is very touchy. Uh, and if you talk about you know, vaccines or any other controversial topic that's not in the mainstream politics, your YouTube account can get shut down too. So just be careful about that. But those of us who don't talk controversial politics, not I should say this, those of us who don't talk, who don't talk uh, non-mainstream politics on our, on our platforms, it's highly unlikely unless you get hacked on. Facebook, it's easier to get hacked. YouTube, a little bit less likely um, that, that you know, your, your, your account's gonna get shut down. So let me say this again. I do not keep video files. I just simply publish them. And then when I want to download it in the future and edit it, I download the one from either the face. I YouTube is easier for me to find, right? So for example, if I go into my, um, uh, whoops, that's not the right document to show you. Sorry about that. Uh, okay. When I go into YouTube, I can easily quickly find all my videos. You see how you, my bookmarks bar is amazing. Um, I can quickly go into YouTube. Uh, this is this is basically YouTube Studio, okay? This is YouTube Studio, and I can search my channel. So, if like, when was the last time I talked about? Um, when was the last time I talked about selling? Let's say selling. Okay, I have thirty videos on selling. Show all. Cool. All right, these are selling well. Okay, great. So then I can I can basically download it right here. And I download it and I edit it in whatever video editing software. That's how I do, you know, that's how I do it. Even though, even though I know YouTube compresses the video quality, it's not original quality anymore. Nobody has ever mentioned that. I download the YouTube video, I edit it in CapWing, and then I upload it as an, an, uh, an up, up edited video, updated video. No one has ever said, George, your videos are not high quality enough in terms of your resolution. I, I don't see enough of your face pores. And your wrinkles are not perfectly, you know, shown. And my audio is just as good. So even the compression from YouTube is good enough for the average viewer. I mean, I'm sure there are some uh, photographers or videographers who know the details, who can see that it's not perfect. And you know, if you if you are working in that field of photography and videography, obviously you can't. This is you already know that this is not a good enough solution for you. You have to have. Uh, a backup solution, you know, external hard drive, et cetera. But anyway, so I hope that helps to save your hard drive from going bananas. Including my course videos. I don't save my, I used to save my course videos. I did that for years and years. I never, ever, ever, ever needed to go back to it. So now I simply save my course videos on YouTube. YouTube is a free, free video storage device. The, Drawback, like I said, they compress the videos down to lower quality, but the average viewer doesn't care, doesn't even notice, doesn't even know what the difference is. You know, they can see one one less pore on your face. That's it. Um, <laughs> a few less pores. Uh, but yeah, so so even my course videos, um, even when I finally go to a course platform such as Kajabi or Simplero or something, I'm still going to store them additionally on YouTube as unlisted videos because just in case. As the platform goes down. So free video storage, YouTube, unlimited.